To kick things off, click on the top menu, then select Settings and choose Edit. Within the settings, adjust the image duration to your liking, for example, one second. Don't forget to save your changes. Next, drag and drop the images you wish to edit onto the timeline. You'll see that all images now have the same duration, making your editing process smoother. Resize the image clip as needed. Now, let's create a duplicate for the second clip. Right-click on it and select Copy-Paste. Then move the duplicate to the upper layer. Click on the duplicate and head to the video settings to remove BG. Opt for custom removal and use the smart brush to outline the car. Use the erase function to deselect specific parts if needed. Click on Apply to remove the car background. To enhance the effect, create a compound clip by right-clicking. Go to the Speed tab, adjust the speed duration to 0.3 seconds. Position the playhead between the first and second clips, then move one frame forward. Align the end of the overlay duplicate clip with the playhead. Navigate to the basic video settings and add transform keyframes at the beginning and end of the duplicate clip. Go back to the starting keyframe and drag the car completely out of the preview screen. Now, let's add some animation effects. Head to the Animation tab and select Zoom 2 for the overlay clip. For the second clip, choose the Shake 1 animation. Repeat these steps for the remaining clips to create a dynamic sequence. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.